They're always willing to trade away a little of their freedom in exchange for the feeling, the illusion of security. What we have now is a completely neurotic population obsessed with, with security and safety and crime and drugs and cleanliness and hygiene and germs. There's another thing, germs. Where did this sudden fear of germs come from in this country? Have you noticed this? The media constantly running stories about all the latest infections, salmonella, E. coli, hantavirus, bird flu, and, and Americans, are they panic easily, so now everybody's running around scrubbing this and spraying that and overcooking their food and repeatedly washing their hands, trying to avoid all contact with germs. It's ridiculous, and it goes to ridiculous lengths. Fear of germs, why these f***ing p***ies? Hey, where's your sense of adventure? Take a f***ing chance, will you? <laughs> Besides, what do you think you have an immune system for? It's for killing germs. But it needs practice. It needs germs to practice on. So, so listen. So listen. If you kill all the germs around you and live a completely sterile life, then when germs do come along, you're not going to be prepared. And never mind ordinary germs, what are you going to do when some super virus comes along that turns your vital organs into liquid sh I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to get sick, you're going to die, and you're going to deserve it because you're fucking weak and you got a fucking weak immune system. tell you a true story about immunization, okay? When I was a little boy in New York City in the 1940s, we swam in the Hudson River, and it was filled with raw sewage, okay? We swam in raw sewage, you know, to cool off. And at that time, the big fear was polio. Thousands of kids died from polio every year. But you know something? In my neighborhood, no one ever got polio. No one ever. You know why? Because we swam in raw sewage. It strengthened our immune systems. The polio never had a prayer. We were tempered in raw shit.